Hi, I'm Huchi from Nagios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to monitor Swiss traffic using Nagios Network Analyzer. Monitoring Swiss traffic is important for network troubleshooting and maintenance. By analyzing traffic patterns, you can identify potential problems early on. If you see that a switch is experiencing high levels of traffic, approaching bandwidth limit, or is sending receiving abnormal amounts of traffic, this can be a sign of a problem. By using Network Analyzer, you'll be able to quickly identify the source of the problem and take steps to resolve it. Before you get started with monitoring switch traffic, you'll need to install a Network Analyzer and configure a flow data sender. A sender can be anything that sends flow data to an IP port using supported flow types, such as NetFlow or SFlow. Make sure you look up documentation on how to set up NetFlow or SFlow for your specific sender because not all processes will be the same. Once you have a sender configured, you can start monitoring switch traffic in a couple easy steps. Let's get started. When you log into Network Analyzer, you'll land on the dashboard page. Click on Sources at the top menu bar. Now click on Create Source. If you haven't already, be sure to set up a sender to send flow data to your Network Analyzer installation IP at the port you specified. Otherwise, you won't get any incoming flow data. Source name is where you must choose a name for your source. I'll use Aruba. In the sender IP address area, you can type in the IP address of the senders. This is optional. For the listening port, you must use the same listening port that you used when setting up your sender. In my case, I used port 4747 when I configured my switch to send flow data, so I'll use that same port here. You can change the incoming flow type to either NetFlow or SFlow. Some devices have options for other flow types, but Network Analyzer only works with NetFlow and SFlow, so be sure to only choose one of those. If your sender supports another flow data type that isn't NetFlow or SFlow, choose NetFlow. I'll be choosing SFlow because that's what my switch supports. Raw data lifetime is where you choose the length of time you want granular flow data to be stored on your server. It defaults to 24 hours but can be changed to days or weeks. If it sounds confusing, click on More Info for a more in-depth explanation. You can check this box here if you want to disable abnormal behavior checks, which was seen previously on the dashboards page. If you want to change the directory where the source's flow data is stored, you can do that in the advanced settings, but to keep it simple, I won't touch that. Double check if everything looks good and click the Create Source button. Now with your source created, you can click on it to see a bunch of details from a bandwidth graph, top talkers, reports, queries, and a percentile calculator. At first, there won't be any data, so you'll have to let it run for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, if you refresh the page or click on Run Report on the Reports tab, data should show up just like this. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. For any further questions, visit support.nagios.com. Make sure to subscribe and check out our YouTube channel for more helpful content. And until next time, take care.